Animal health is an issue that affects the entire industry, but producing an animal health plan can result in healthier livestock and bank balances. Sometimes, however, farmers are reluctant to spend precious time compiling a health plan, and so a recent event at Frieda Crew Farm near Towin was aimed at explaining the benefits. Organised by Organic Centre Wales, the event included a presentation by a local vet, Hugh Williams. I suppose the English proverb that a stitch in time saves nine is a good summary of what we're trying to achieve by promoting animal health plans. Now, all farmers know that there will be problems uh, through keeping livestock. You know, again, another silly little saying is wherever there is livestock, there is dead stock. And the farmers... Uh, aim in life, I suppose, is to try and uh, minimise and limit the number of dead stock that he has. And um, it sounds a bit peculiar, maybe, but a piece of paper can help him do just that. Uh, an animal health plan is basically um, made up of a number of sections. Um, biosecurity of the farm, how you can prevent disease coming onto the farm. Um, also, you've got your year planner in your health plan, telling... Um, telling everybody what you do throughout the year, um, your dosing regimes, your vaccination regimes, and then your current approach to any diseases found on the farm and um, what we can do to improve those current diseases and what the action plan for the future is, is how it's set out. It's not complicated. It, it means uh, talking to your vet um, about you um, sitting down with your vet for a half an hour to an hour depends how long uh, how detailed you want to go into it but it's it's not complicated it's it's something like i said farmers can look into it themselves think about the biosecurity um the you know the diseases um the biosecurity um, of their neighbors if there's any kind of disease they can get from next door neighbors from buying in stock um but not complicated to get no if at the moment they're carrying this information in their heads, well, that's useful, but it would be far more useful if they were to put it on paper. And it, it, it's amazing how quickly you see, gosh, there's a trend here. This, I've been thinking about this, but I've, I've never really um, put two and two together. And now I can see it. And it's simply by putting head knowledge onto paper and seeing that there are things that recur regularly. And something that's happening frequently oftentimes there are steps that can be taken to stop it or to reduce it or to um, <clears throat> to minimize it happening and, and that's where the animal health plan can help the farmer to see these trends and uh, take positive steps to reduce the problem. Health planning has been used for a long time in organic systems but is now becoming more useful in conventional systems and farmers are just beginning to understand that um, a health plan can save them money, might save them money on drugs, so they're looking more to consultancy and to reduce uh, usage overall. The event at Towin was aimed at both sheep and beef producers. Sheep farmers, it seems, are lagging behind the rest of the industry when it comes to animal health plans, even though the farm assured Welsh lamb programme, or FOWL, insists on such a plan being in place. The farm assured Welsh lamb um, dictates that you have to have a herd health plan um, so that when they will come and do their inspections, they will ask to see a herd health plan, which many farmers think of it as just a piece of paper. But if they've you know, sat down and, and thought about it, it's normally a useful piece of information that they can save some money by finding out about different diseases, etc., on their farm. Is this something new, then, to the lamb industry? No, nothing new. It's, it's been in the, all the animal industry, the pig industry, beef industry, and also you know, a lot of people have been... Um, um, doing health plans for sheep over the years but it is something that beef and sheep industry has probably been a little bit behind the other industries and is catching up I would say. This event may well be the first in a series of such presentations across Wales while there may also be some good news for farmers concerned about the cost of producing a health plan. Uh, there was some help available for the last three year period through Welsh lamb and beef producers, uh, a grant from the Welsh Assembly to draft health plans. Um, and there has been rumours that there is another plan, uh, another tranche of money being released again. Uh, Welsh lamb and beef producers have also set up a website which is a tool to help farmers and their veterinary surgeons draft up health plans both organically and conventionally.
lots of, lots of questions uh, discussing you know how, how people go about getting a health plan um, and just discussing what they can get out of it because a lot of people do think of it as just a piece of paper that is sat on a desk that only is there for inspections but really you should be getting something out of your health plan and, and saving money from it really and you know the big uh, thing is prevention is better than cure.